Hello students, so today I'm going to start your exercise 3.2. In question number 1, we have to do the successive subtraction method. In question number 2, we have to do the ones and tens digit method. And in question number 3, we have to do the prime factorization method. Okay, so successive subtraction, ones and tens digit method and prime factorization. All these methods I have already explained in my previous video. Okay. So these numbers you have to do question number one question number two question number three these are you have to do okay because I, I have already explained how to do this kind of questions okay if you don't remember the method watch the videos again and while wow, question number one two and three do it yourself so I'm starting uh, from question number four so question number four is a gardener grows 2025 plants in his garden in the form of a square. Find the number of plants in each row. So square means the garden, the size of the garden is a square. So in case of a square, all sides are equal means equal number of plants will be planted in all sides. Okay. So here the gardener grows 2025 plants in his square garden. Now we have to find that how many plants can be grown in each row or how many plants are present in each row. So for that we have to simply find the square root of 2025. Okay. So we can write. The gardener grows 2025 plants in his garden in the form of a square therefore number of plants therefore number of plants in each row is equal how much square root of square root of two zero two five so how can we find the square root of 2025 by using the division method isn't it so 2025 use the division method first of all make it pair so there are two pairs so 20 so we can give 4 4 4 4 is how much 16 4 so that's why we have to give 4 here also 5 plus 4 plus 4 how much 8 so 20 minus 16 how much 4 then 25 <clears throat> next how much we have to give here we can give 5 so here 5 5 5 is 25 2 remain 4 5 is uh, sorry 8 5 is 40 40 plus 2 42 0 means our answer is how much 45 plants therefore number of plants in each row in each row how much 45 okay question number five find the smallest square number which is exactly divisible by four five six and twelve means there is a number which is a perfect square and it should be the smallest perfect square so that this number is exactly divisible by four five six and twelve Matlab, एक ऐसा नंबर जो एक परफेक्ट स्क्वायर है और एक छोटा नंबर होना चाहिए सबसे छोटा जिस नंबर को 4 5 6 एंड 12 से डिवाइड भी जाना होगा मतलब उस नंबर को हम इन चारों नंबर से डिवाइड कर सकते हैं सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट हाउ कैन वी सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू फाइंड द एलसीएम ऑफ 4 5 6 एंड 12 ओके so LCM of 4, 5, 6 and 12. How much? 4, 5, 6, 12. Find the LCM. 2, 2, uh, 2, 2 is a 4, 5 is not divisible. 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 6 is a 12. Next. 2, 1 is a 2, 5 is not divisible. 3 is not divisible, 2 3s are 6. Next, 3 1 5 is not divisible, 3 1s are 3, 
3 1s are 3. Therefore, LCM is how much? 2 2s are 4, 4 3s are 12, 12 5s are 60. Okay. Now, we have to find the prime factors of 60. Okay. Now, prime factors of 60. Prime factors of 60 how much? 60. 2, 30 times. 2, 15 times. 3, 5 times. Okay. Now, as you can see here, 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Okay. So, these are the numbers. 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Now, you can see 2 is a pair. Okay. 2 is a pair. But 3 and 5, these are not pair. Okay. So, here 3 and 5 is unpaired. Therefore, multiply 3 and 5, how much? 3 into 5, 15. Again, multiply, again multiply 15 with how much 60 okay again multiply 50 in this number with 60 how much so 60 into 15 how much it will be 900 okay and <clears throat> we can see that 900 is a perfect square because square root of 900 how much square root of 900 is 30 means 900 is a perfect square and our question also says that find the smallest perfect square so that this number is divisible by all numbers like 4, 5, 6 and 12. So if you divide 900 by 4, 5, 6 and 12 then these numbers are divisible. Okay. Therefore our answer is 900. So our answer is 900. Understood? Next question number 6. Find the smallest number by which each of the following numbers should be multiplied to get a perfect square. Matlab, ye jo hume numbers diya gaya hai, ye sabhi numbers perfect squares nahi hai. Or, hume ek aisa smallest number dhoond na hai, or agar hum us smallest number se in numbers ko multiply kare, to hume kya milega ek perfect square milega. तो सभी का जो मेथड्स है सभी एक जैसा ही है तो मैं कौन सा करूंगा मैं करूंगा क्वेश्चन नंबर डी ओके ए बी सी यू हैव टू डू सिक्स नंबर डी आई एम डूइंग सो आवर नंबर इज 3564 ओके 3564 दिस इज आवर नंबर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइंड द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन 3, 5, 6, 4, prime factorization, okay. So, because 4 means it is an even number, so it will be divided by 2. So, how much? 1, 7, 8, 2. Again, divisible by 2, uh, 8, 9, 1. Now, it is divisible by 3. How much? 2, 9, 7. Here, again, it is divisible by 3, uh, 3, then 9, 9, 9 and 20, 3, 9 27, 3, 9 27. Again, it is divisible by 3, 3, 3. Again, this number is divisible by 3, 11. Okay. Now, the numbers are 2 into 2 into uh, 1, 2. This is 3 into 3 into 3. How much? 1, 2, 1, 2. This is a pair. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3 into 3, 4. So, this is also a pair. This is also a pair. And last number is 11. So, it is not paired, isn't it? So, 2 into 2 is a pair. 3 into 3 is a pair. 3 into 3 is a pair. But 11 is not a pair. Okay. So, here. So, 11 is not a pair means we can say that this number is not a perfect square. So, we have to make this number a perfect square. Okay. 
so here 11 is not appearing in a pair okay therefore multiply because the question say multiply this one multiplied okay multiply that's why we have to do multiplication here 11 is not a not here 11 is not appearing in a pair therefore multiply 11 with kis ke saath multiply karna hai is number ke saath multiply with 3 5 6 4 okay so 3 5 6 4 into 11 how much if we multiply then it becomes uh, 39204 okay so 39204 is a perfect square okay how do we remove it? this will be the division method 39204 okay this will be the division method and what will the answer? 39204 square root of 39204 is how much? 198 okay so this is your answer means your answer is how much 11 means the question is asking find the smallest number by which each of the following number should be multiplied to get a perfect square matlab hum ek ek aisa number dhoondna hai jo sabse chota hoga lekin agar hum us number se is number ko ya is number ko multiply kare तो वो क्या होना चाहिए एक परफेक्ट स्क्वायर होना चाहिए तो मैंने जो डी नंबर किया है उसमें मेरा आंसर आया 11 मतलब अगर हम 11 से इस नंबर को मल्टीप्लाई करें तो वो एक परफेक्ट स्क्वायर बनेगा अगर तुम सी करोगे तो वो 11 नहीं निकलेगा कुछ और नंबर ही निकलेगा ओके तो सेम मेथड यू हैव टू अप्लाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइंड द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड जो नंबर अनपेयर्ड रहेगा पेयर नहीं रहेगा वही होगा तुम्हारा आंसर और उसी नंबर से तुम्हें इस नंबर को मल्टीप्लाई करना होगा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर 7 फाइंड द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर्स बाय व्हिच द फॉलोइंग नंबर शुड बी डिवाइडेड हियर मल्टीप्लाइड एंड हियर डिवाइडेड ओके सो एस टू गेट अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर सो ये ये भी इसके जैसा ही है सेम मेथड हमें अप्लाई करना है बट फर्क ये था कि हमें यहां पर मल्टीप्लाई करना था और हमें यहां पे डिवाइड करना है तो मैं कौन सा करूंगा सबसे बड़ा नंबर मैं करूंगा क्वेश्चन नंबर सी सो सेवन नंबर सी क्वेश्चन इज 102487 सो दिस इज आवर नंबर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डू द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड 102487 सो दिस नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय 7 ओके सो इट विल बी 14641 Next, it, this number is not divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that. It is divisible by 11. So, 1, 3, 3, 1. Again, this number is divisible by 11. How much? 121. Again, divisible by 11. How much? 11. Okay. Hmm. So, our numbers are 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So this is a pair and this is also a pair, but seven is not pair. So here, seven is unpaired. So to make one zero two four eight seven ये वाला number so to make one zero two four eight seven a perfect square we have to divide 102487 by 7 this number okay because 7 is unpaired so we have to divide this number by 7 
therefore 102487 अगर इससे हम 7 से डिवाइड करें तो हमें क्या निकलेगा ये तो हमने पहले ही करके रखा है इस नंबर को अगर हम 7 से डिवाइड करें तो हमें ये नंबर मिलेगा है कि नहीं सो so, 14641 ये नंबर मिलेगा और हमें क्वेश्चन में ये भी पूछा है also find the square root of the number so obtain मतलब हमें जो नंबर मिला है उस नंबर का हमें स्क्वायर रूट भी निकालना है सो देयरफॉर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 14641 सो इसका भी तुम डिवीजन मेथड से निकाल लो 14641 इसका भी तुम डिवीजन मेथड से निकाल लेना ओके okay? सो so, इसका आंसर कौन सा क्या होगा इसका आंसर होगा 1 2 1 ओके okay? ये वाला तुम निकाल लेना यहां पर मैंने पहले ही निकाल के रखा है तो ये होगा 1 to 1 therefore our answer is first जो छोटा नंबर है that is 7 and the square root of 14641 is 121 so this is your answer